Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Jack Gerfin. We once again had a lot of melting occur today due to all the sunshine and the warm temperatures and with no snow in our forecast we again have a very very small chance of having a white Christmas meaning that you have one inch of snow on the ground on Christmas Day. Right now we've got it at a 0.001 percent chance that we're gonna have a white Christmas and uh, ironically this is also the average Metacritic as well as Rotten Tomatoes score of cats so <laughs> it's, it's it's really bad still really bad and uh, it is not not going to get any better. So um, very, very unlikely that we're going to have any snow on the ground left over here for us by the time we get to Christmas Day, just because the fact that temperatures are going to be so warm here in the 40s and even the 50s. And in fact, on Christmas Day itself, we're going to have a high temperature of 52. So there's really no way that we're going to see any snow hang on for that long here, especially the lead up to Christmas is you've got 44 on Sunday, 49 on Monday, 50 on Christmas Eve day. And then even after that's done, we have temperatures that remain very mild in the upper 40s and low 50s going into next weekend. So it's actually a really warm forecast. We should be around 35 for a high and we're about 10 to almost 15 degrees warmer uh, than average. So it's going to be a mild forecast for sure. Storm Tracker Doppler, we've got nothing going on here. Uh, there were the clouds that came through last night and you can see there's a lot of rain down in the south but those are going to stay down there. We're not expecting those showers to be moving into our area. They're actually going to kind of move off to the northeast. So we're going to be nice and dry as well as clear for the rest of the night tonight as well as uh, for tomorrow as well. Temperatures are in the 30s in many spots. 32 in Champaign, 31 in Mattoon, although it is now down to 29 in Paris and 27 in Effingham. Winds are all very light too. They've been out of the southeast or so since last night and they've been very calm it's going to be expected for uh, the rest of the night tonight as well to stay that way. So really overnight tonight we've got temperatures that should be dropping down into the middle and upper 20s. So it's going to be warmer by about 7, 8 degrees or so compared to normal. We should be about 20 degrees or so. But keep in mind there will be the chance for some patchy fog to develop in some spots out there uh, by tomorrow morning. Got the naughty or nice forecast still for tomorrow. It's looking nice with temperatures in the 40s. We've got a lot of sunshine and it's the weekend. In fact, a lot of you don't have to go to work on Monday. Um, we all do, but you know, not everyone does. So it is going to be a pretty nice forecast though for us. So not a naughty forecast, it's a nice one leading up into our Sunday. So here's Sunday's forecast for tomorrow. A lot of middle 40s expected with a lot of sunshine. Again, keep in mind there could be a few spots of uh, fog in the morning, but overall though it's going to be a nice sunny day just like today was. So travel forecast, if you are going to the in-laws or grandparents tomorrow, no issues there. Monday is good as well, so is Tuesday. So you're all good there. Your for future track though looks to be very quiet here again. The one difference though is now as we go towards the, la the later parts of the forecast, which will be at the end of the week after Christmas, we actually do have a system coming through here. It's warm enough to where we're going to see everything fall in the form of rain, but we'll probably have some rain showers coming in Friday evening and then last into Saturday with that low coming through there. So here's your seven-day forecast. You've got, uh, again, very calm, very mild conditions here, and uh, we've got uh, Hanukkah starting up tomorrow night. We've got Christmas on Wednesday, so a lot going on the seven-day, and it is mild. Here's your weather quiz question. Involving weather for airports, what does VFR stand for? Visibility. Uh, forward and reverse, visual flight rules, very fast rain, or velocity for uh, runway. I'm going to go with A. It is going to be visual flight rules. Okay. That means pilots don't have to rely off their instruments because they can actually see outside. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you what else I didn't know. I didn't know it was wear your sassy pants to work today. Yeah, right. You're on fire, Jack. Ooh, I, I try sometimes. <laughs> it's my first time on a weekend in a while, you know? I know. Yeah. Welcome him back. Thank this you. This is great. The yeah. rare treat. Yes. All right. With that, it's time for Share Your Day. We're going to start with Melissa Brown and this cute picture I could not resist as soon as I saw it on Facebook. She said her littlest Aww. one tried spaghetti for the first time today. Looks like she might have gotten more on her nose than she did in her mouth. And Mom's spaghetti is good. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if she she likes it or not based I think she on does. the facial I think she, expression. I think she does. We have uh, Renee. She sent uh, this picture of a cactus cookie. She said that she was dreaming of Arizona while baking it. Uh, that's really well done. Yeah, if you want to teach me how to frost cookies like that, I'm all in. And the shape, me. too. Um, let me know your technique, because yeah. I guarantee my sugar cookies did not turn out as good looking as that. I just burn them. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yep. All right, well, we're going to have a look at your national news headlines coming up next.